We worship the Father in spirit, in truth, for the Father is seeking for such to be his worshippers. So a true worshipper is somebody who worships me to me. They were talking to me, they were talking to me, they were talking to me, is somebody who worships in spirit and in truth. And I normally take the praise and worship the leaders. To the court, sana, to the court, sana, to the court, to the court, to the Worship is beyond music. Music is just a company. Worship is a lifestyle. How you behave, how you talk to people outside there, how you dress, how you eat, that's a lifestyle. And worship is more of private life than the public life. What is spirit? Kilo na fanya kule, sasa wacha ni target kwa imbaji kwa sababu sisi ni wakoji na fubana wa nafo. Kilo ni imbaji ya tafanya behind curtain you are to manifest for public. If you've been staying a lifestyle in your closet, lifestyle of worshiping and worshiping, ukija hapa kutulit, inakuwa easier. Lakini kama umeishi tu, ukibojia tu sati, ushike mic, itakuwa mbubu, sometimes, itakuwa mbubu. So everybody is a worshiper. Born again, filled of the Holy Spirit. So we should live a life that pleases God. A life that is aligned to the will of God. Praise the Lord. Allow me just to just say some few points here, characteristics of a true worshiper. A true worshiper is not a musician, it's not a song leader, it's not a praise and worship member, it's everybody here. We have to remember and reverend that God is looking even in this congregation tonight for a true worshiper. And every time I tell God, if you are looking for a true worshiper, I am available. I will avail myself if the Lord is looking for two worshippers in this generation. Characteristics, some tabia, zinazo abatana na mamudu wa kisi kama isi zikwatea. One, a true worshipper must be an intercessor or must be prayerful. Somebody who keeps in prayer, lives a lifestyle of prayer. Show me somebody who is effective in their lives, in business, in career, in every field you talk about. And I'll show you somebody, a Christian, who is prayerful. Show me a minister in the worship. Show me a minister who is effective even now. And I'll show you somebody who is prayerful. Prayer is communication between us and God. We communicate to God through prayers. And if you read in the book of Philippians, somebody will read for us, you are God, not yet. It's probably a time about prayer. Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7. Somebody now you can read for us Philippians 4, 6 and 7 only. It's a about prayer that we petition, we pray.